Hello everyone, Mr. Kylie here with Martial Arts America, Team Navarre. Today is Wednesday, April 8th. This is your Junior Adult Beginner and Little Dragon Psy class. Okay, so start by taking your Psy. We're going to warm ourselves up a little bit. Open and close. Hopefully getting a little bit better every week. At this point, maybe you're doing both hands or you're switching them. Good, doing both at the same time. Changing direction, so like going out with it, which we'll simply do by flicking your wrist and kind of using the pinch of your thumb to keep control of it. So if I turn it out like that, so it goes out and it points at you, so yours are pointing at me, then you grab, but just reach your hand down and grab the suka, just like that. So that's another way to do it, so you punch out like that. Good, so one more time, lock the thumb on top. Push out, and you just curl your fingers under as you grab it. Good. You can do the same thing in. I can lock my thumb, and I can curl it in. Good. I'll show you from the side. So it's here. I lock my thumb, pinch it, and I just flick my wrist to the inside, and it locks like that. And I just wrap my fingers around the back side of the yoka. Just to just make sure when you're doing, the, especially the inwards motion, you don't bend your elbow, at least not that much. And so when you're doing it, you don't want a lot of elbow bend because the elbow bend pulls the side closer to you. So you keep your elbow out and you just bend and you flick your wrist. Flick it out. You can start with a bent elbow here because you're going to straighten it. Straighten. When you come in, you don't want to bend your elbow until after it's already settled. Then you bend. So it's one, two. So now we have here where we're physically moving our hand around the side. Good. Hand is rotating. And this one's where you rotate the side around your hand. Good. You can do either. You can do a mix of both. Good. We're also going to review combination number one, the very, very solid combination we do in your form, Okay, which is the punch, fan, good, strike, down block. Punch, fan, strike, down block. And as we do it, we're starting to kind of focus on little key things in it, little different keys every time. Good? And it's not that the keys are changing. There's a bunch of little things to make sure you're doing with this combination. But if I tell you all of them at one time, it's kind of hard to remember which ones to do. So that's why we attack them a couple at a time. And so now the keys at this point, when you punch, you make sure that you're pushing the index finger on the suka. So you're pushing down here to get that to lock. And then from there, again, you kind of let it hang. I grab, I pull it down. And then you fan, go ahead and make sure it has that nice whip motion here. And then as you pull it in, you want to make sure you're also rotating the side, pointing this end up as you pull it in so that it doesn't poke you and, and jab into your side. And then put it back out straight, making sure your thumb is on the moto, good, not hooked around. You're not grabbing it like a baseball bat, good, because then if I go like that, I can't, so I can't flatten it. My wrist won't physically flatten out. But if I put my thumb here, it allows my wrist to flex more, and I can actually get it to flatten so make sure when you poke it, that's the other reason your thumb was on the moto, is it gives you better flexibility of your wrist. Here. Good. So I did my strike. And my down block. Other side. Punch. Open it. Fan. Strike. Down block. One more time. Punch. Fan. Strike. Down block. Now we're just going to take it, and we're not going to work the form yet, but I want to work just the transitions in the form. So just those stances and how your body moves as you're doing those different strikes and blocks. Okay? So hands are on by your side. Form starts on this side. That's you're going to punch. Go ahead and again, you're from here, as you pull the hand, as you open it, and you flip to here, at the same time, you pull it back to your waist. So you're taking the, the side right here, and you're just touching your hip. As you do that, you're also sliding back. You can hear my foot slide. It's not stepping back, so I'm not putting it behind me. I'm simply taking it. As I turn it, I'm sliding it over. I'm leaning back, almost like I'm going to do my balance case. I'm leaning on that back leg into what's called fugal stance or cat stance. Those cats are lighter on their feet. And then I fan block out. And then as I pull my hand back to rear up and ready to strike, you're also you'll feel your body turning. So that's the time for that foot to pivot right back where it was. And as you step out, you strike. Lock the thumb and down block. Other side. Start here. So my left foot's in the front. So my left hand does the punch. And then I open it. And as I slide it back, my shoulders start to turn. That's the cue to go ahead and turn that foot and slide this one over. Good. Here. Fan. Turn. Strike. 
down block. And every time we do it, we try to get a little bit more fluid and start to tie these moves together, okay? So step into a punch with your right hand, push and slide back, pivot and strike out and move your foot over, to down block over your knee, other side, punch, open, slide, fan, strike, down block. Very good. So now we're going to put that into our form. Ready? We're going to cover as much as we did last time, which for dragons, that's like your entire form. That doesn't mean you should have the entire form learned by now, but when you have all the individual movements, all those little combos and all the different moves, when we do it together, you can do it. So that's great. It's okay if you don't have the form completely learned all by yourself right now. I just want to make sure you get enough time to move through it you know, from start to finish but as a team. Juniors, we have about half of your form learned. Okay? So we'll feet together bow. We start by flipping them up so we can block above our head. We close them again, put them together, step out and block your hips. Good. Show your left hand, step forward, punch the right hand, and then quick flip, slide back, fan, pivot, strike, down block. Make sure the hand you're not using is tucked into your belt, not tucked into your belt, but kind of pulled beside it. Step forward, punch, open it, turn your body, fan, slide your leg over, Strike out, down block, step with your right side one more time, punch, slide back and fan, strike out, down block, punch left, punch right. Open them both up, step back with your right foot, guard your legs, very good. Okay, this is the part we're kind of, we're getting fancy on. It's our X block, we'll, we'll focus on this in a second. Slide your left foot over, don't step back with it, that's the key there. Notice the best way to kind of do it, if you're in a key my stance like this, your left foot's in the front, you're in a key my stance. Take your left foot and just step it back behind you. Good. And then from there, just turn your feet. That should leave you in the correct stance with your left foot still in the front. Okay, so that's the big thing to take away from this. When you change these stances from Kimai to front stance, your left foot stays closer to me the whole time. Okay? Go back to it, go to Kimai. And then all you do is you turn this back foot and this foot slides over. So now you're in a front stance. The same stance we did when we started the form, okay? And you have, you're here, you do your X block. If you're having trouble with this, just cross them like that, I'm fine with that for right now. And then from there, step forward, march forward, take both hands, push them straight out. Don't rear them back and sling them, it's not a chop, it's more like a punch, I push my hand straight forward. Very good, and then from there, lock them, put them together, and then double down block. Okay, that's about as much as we've covered. Okay, but we covered a little more for the juniors last time. So we're gonna add that part in now. So we're gonna go further now that we've kind of shaken some of the rust off and gotten warmed up. Okay, ready? Bow, present up, step out. Good, is that a little too fast? Okay, I said that's the speed we're gonna end up getting to. Good, you pull up and then right back down. It's okay to take your time for right now. Pull the left hand, right hand settles at your belt, punch the right hand. Good, fan, strike, down block, step, Punch, fan, strike, down block, step, punch, fan, strike, down block, punch left, punch right. Open them both up. Step back with your right foot, bring it around town, block up, and then gonna rainbow your hands over your knees. Okay, take your body and you're gonna turn to the front. So your feet stay, good, your right, your left foot stays in the front, right foot stays in the back, you just turn your hips and turn your body. Good, throw your X block up, pull them in, step forward with your right foot, double strike, good, lock them, double down block, just for the little dragons. So juniors stay frozen like an ice cube. Little dragons, take your back knee, drop it down, punch with your left hand, punch with your right hand. At this point, dragons, you can either stay here on your knee while we finish off the junior form, or if you want an extra challenge, you can do the, do the junior form with us. I'm okay with learning more, okay? And so you're here, you punch, juniors, you punch, so you stay standing, do the same moves from standing. So you punch with your left hand, punch with the right hand. Okay, at this point, stay there. I'm gonna turn around, because now we're both gonna go the same direction. It's really hard to mirror this next part. So instead, we're just gonna both face the same way, again, like you're behind me in class. Okay, so you're here, punch left, punch right. Okay, from there, we're going to turn to the left. We're going to turn this way. You're already leaning on this foot. Okay, you're already heavy on this foot like you should be. You're going to turn this foot and slide back into fugal stance like this. So I'm leaning back. My left hand is a high block. Good. And from there, I'm going to step out. I'm going to pull it down. 
turn that foot, and then you just pull the side down. Mm. Okay, what you're doing is if somebody strikes over the top with a bow staff or with a hammer fist and the strike comes down, I'm using my sai to catch it, to block it, and then I'm taking the, the part right here, the yoko, and I'm actually hooking, so it's a hook grab. I'm taking whatever I blocked and I'm hooking it down beside me and holding on to it. So I block something like a bow staff or a hand, and then as I hook and snatch it down, I lock it in tight like that. And now I'm gonna step forward with my right side and do the combination you already know, punch, Fan, strike, down block. Step left side, punch, fan, strike, down block. Step right side, punch, fan, strike, down block. Punch left, punch right. Okay, that's half your form juniors. That's all of your form dragons. Let's lock and load and do it again. Ready? Again, every time we do it, we're going to try to get a little bit faster. That doesn't mean we're doing the moves and speeding the moves up faster. That just means we're not pausing so much in between them because we're starting to learn them better. So I don't necessarily have to teach them to you because you already know what you're doing, right? Okay, so now we're just going to get in finding the rhythm and just fixing little things as we go along. Okay, put them up, put them down. Oh, yeah! Show the left one. Step forward, punch. And then flip it, stance change, strike out, down block. Step forward, punch, good. Slide back, stance change, strike out, down block. Step forward, punch, stance change, good. Strike out, down block. Punch left, punch right. Open them both up. Big key my stance to the side so our stomachs are facing to the right. Blocks down, good. And then from here, you're going to, you can make your X block now, great. If not, it's okay. Take that front leg and just start scooting it over. Turn your hips. Eventually, it's going to be one clean move like that. It'll be looking good. Block open over. Hands come in. Push them forward. It's a double strike. You're hitting them right here on the clavicle bones, the collar bones. Good. Lock them. Block your sides. Just the dragons. Drop down. Punch with your left hand. Punch with your right hand. And again, either go through your combo as you're sitting from a knee. Start the form over again and try it all by yourself and just stay close to tension or kind of move on to the junior stuff with us. Either one's fine. Okay, juniors, you did here. Punch left, punch right from standing. Stay there. Good, so we're all facing this way. You're kind of, your back is to me. Well, no, my back is to you. You're looking at my back. Punch left, punch right. Look, fan or slide, block, pull down. Good, so my left foot's in the front. I'm going this way. My left hand's hooked over. My right hand's by my side. Okay, step forward, punch, saddle your foot, slide over, fan, step out, strike, down block with your right side. Step forward, left side does that same combo. One, two, three, four. Step right side one more time, punch, slide, fan, strike, down block, punch left, punch right. If you want bonus points, we can go a little bit further. Okay, from that... Punch, punch, juniors. Okay, this part's kind of tricky to see if you're looking at the camera. You're going to turn over your left shoulder. So you see your back foot and your left foot. At this point, you're probably looking like this over your shoulder to me. Okay, this foot right here, you're going to turn and face your feet towards the back wall. So you're facing completely away from me. Take your left foot, step back with it. Take your feet, point them this way, to the right. So now you're going the complete opposite direction you were just in, okay? So at this point, you're probably looking over your shoulder like this to me, and that's okay. The left leg, the one that's in the front, you're going to block with it and then hook it down again, but it's in that different stance. It's in chungle stance this time. So it goes from one to two, okay? We can cover that one more time. Okay, so just, uh, well, dragons can stay with us because we're still getting practice doing this combo, and that's fine. Okay, from here, you have your right foot facing this way, your left foot this way. What's this stance called? Fugal stance, cat stance. Heavy on this foot, very so light on this foot, you can lift this foot lightly off the ground. Okay? Block up over your head. As you pull it down, your back foot's going to pivot and slide over as you pull it down. Step forward, punch with your right hand, turn. When you turn that foot, that's also the time for your body to turn. Fan block, pull back in, pivot and strike out, down block. Same thing left side, punch, slide and fan, pull it back as you pivot, step out and strike, down block, punch, fan, strike, down block, punch left, punch right. Okay, what this next move looks like with speed, okay, with this big turn is this. 
okay? But that's kind of it's a very tricky step to get if it's your first or second time learning this form. So all you do to get that step is you take your feet, turn them away from the camera, turn your back to me, take your left foot, that's the one that kind of you should be able to look down and see. You step back with it, and then you take both your feet, turn them to the left. Good, I'm sorry, that's technically the right, but this is your left foot, so turn them that way. Good, so now your whole body's going to the right. High block with your left hand, pull down. Very good, okay, let's start all that over. Actually, before we do that, we're gonna work on this. Okay, that X block, nice and smooth. So to do this X block, we're gonna get a little bit closer, we talked about this a bunch. Okay, it's here, and it's here, and you're trying to basically intertwine and interlock these together. So you want a forwards, you want a pulling motion to you, and a pushing motion away from you. Okay, it doesn't matter. Now the cool part is, it doesn't matter which hand does which. Good, as long as you have the right setup. Okay, the best way to think about it and set it up is whichever hand is on top. Good, that's going to be the pulling hand. Whichever hand is on the bottom is going to be the pushing hand. Good. Good. Technically, you can also do it like that. It works either way. For me, the way I do it, I have my left hand right here. I have my right hand right here. I have my right hand on top of my left hand, and I kind of just send it under. I just scoop it under there, so it's locked underneath that yoka and that suma. And then I take the other one. I want to push it down, scoot it over, and then pull it up. Good. And the key is you want to make sure the dragon, when the dragon's doing this, or the junior, when the student's doing this, they need to keep constant tension. What that means is if you lock it and then you stop holding it strong, you stop pushing and pulling it, it's just going to it's gonna crumble apart. And so if they lock it, and then from there they, they stop. Right now I'm pulling this to me and I'm pushing that away from me. If I stop doing that, so it just undoes itself. So I'm going to make sure they're actually pushing and pulling the whole time. And they're keeping tension. Good, so they're keeping that push and that pull the whole time. One more time, good. So another way to do it that I've kind of learned over the years is take it like this, take this the other one, so I have my left hand, my right hand, I'm gonna put the, the manochi, this part, good, on this side, good, right here. I'm gonna take this part right here, I'm gonna run it up into there. Good, so I'm trying to cut the difference. Good. You can even see it from here, I'm trying to take it and run it. And then from there, the bottom hand is going to push. The top hand is going to pull. So I run it, and then I push and pull. That locks it. And then all I do from here is I create more of an opening by continually pushing this part down. So I keep pushing. As I spread it out, I push down. So I'm keeping tension right here. Okay? So another way, I'll show you the, the way we did it. Here, right hand, left hand. Good. I can't go in. It's got to go in between. Boom. Good. And then I pull this one and I push this one. So it locks and turns. And then I just spread it out wider to create that opening. Good. If that's not working or if you need me to work in a different way, let me know in the comments. That This is probably ironically the hardest part of the entire form. It'll get easier over time. And for right now, it, students, if you're having trouble with it, just just do this. Just show me the X. Okay, we'll work on this part later, but I don't want you to lose focus of your entire form, worrying about one movement in the form. Okay, let's just focus on what we're doing. If we can get every other part of the form, that'll be much better. And we'll fix this part at a later date and time. All right, so let's do the form one more time together as a team. Feet together, bow, bring it up. Good, step out, pull down. Yeah. Show the left one, turn the right hand, pull it to your belt. Step forward, punch. Fold it. As you pull it back, use that momentum of you pulling your arm back. That's when you slide your leg back. And then I fan block out. And then I also, again, we can kind of speed in the form up. I use this momentum as it goes outside of my shoulder. Good. I then pull it back in. As you pull it in, you turn your hips so you can step out and punch out. So that's kind of the goal is to end up using the momentum to make this part a little bit easier. Punch. And I kind of use the bending of the knee. Once it finishes bending, I'm actually going to spring and push off of it and slide back. And there's your fan. And as I finish this move and pull it back, I use the turning of my shoulders to pivot and strike out. And then I down block nice and crisply. Step forward, punch, fan, strike, down block. Punch left, punch right. Open them both up. Step back. Good. Cross them if you can. Open up that front foot, turn both feet towards me, X block up overhead, step forward, strike, 
lock it. Down block, trust the dragons, drop down, punch right, punch left, oh sorry, punch left, punch right. Good, juniors, if you'd like to, ready? Punch left, punch right, stay there. Now again, your back is to, or my back is to you. We're gonna slide, fan, step out, pull it down, step forward, punch with the right hand, fan, strike, down block, punch, fan with the left side, strike, down block, step right, punch, fan, strike, down block, punch left, punch right. That new little part to be added, you turn both the feet away from the camera, take your left foot, step back with it, good, turn both the feet to the side, to your left side, which should be the right side because your back was to the camera, so now we're going this way, good, and you're going to high block with that front hand, that left hand, pull down, and then guess what we're going to do now, we're going to step forward and do that combo three more times, but you can guys, you can do that on your own time, now you just know what the next thing is, we do that combo again, three more times, and I promise that's the last time doing that combo in the form, but we do it quite often, so let's make sure we're really good at it, okay, and as you do it, try to make sure you can do it more fluidly and more fluidly, the punch, fan, strike, down block, and again, the thing with the sigh, in the beginning, what makes it difficult is that it carries a lot of weight. It's, it's a heavier, it's the heaviest of all the weapons we're going to use. And in the beginning, that can be kind of intimidating and be kind of scary. So it's kind of harder to use in the beginning. But what you'll learn, the more you use them, the lighter they're going to get because you're going to get stronger. And the weight actually starts to help you because it makes it easier to move your body and to move the sigh around because it has a little bit of weight to it. It's also, it's a very balanced weapon. And so it has the same weight at the top and the bottom, so it's easier for the, the side to actually roll and flip around. Good. Those are just some of the fun drills we'll work on kind of next week, which are the, the pass-through. This one. Good. We'll do that next week. We might work on the side spin next week. All depends on where you guys are training, because I don't want you to have make the side fall on you. I also don't want it to fall on the floor, so I might kind of hold back from that one. But this move is pretty cool. I can teach you guys that next week. Okay. We're going to put our side away. Come feet together. We're going to bow. You guys did a wonderful job. I would definitely pick your side up with your parents' permission, of course, and practice it at some point between now and next Monday. Potentially, I would probably do it like on Friday or Saturday, so you're kind of staying in a rhythm because if you put your side away and you don't pick them up between now and Thursday passes and Friday and Saturday and Sunday, and then we come back on Monday and do it, that's going to be a lot of time between training, so it's, we're going to have to spend the first half of class relearning what you should already remember. So just try to find a time on Thursday or Saturday or Friday or Saturday, potentially, maybe even in Sunday, just to pick these up and kind of go over your flip. Good. The offensive defensive flip. Go over your combo, maybe even go through your form and just see how much of your form you can retain outside of class. Because it's one thing to do it with us as a team as we're doing it together. Okay. But it's a different thing. It's almost like testing yourself when you do it by yourself. You'll kind of see how much you actually can remember. So then you'll know what you need to focus on when class happens on Monday. Okay. So you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Dragons are done for the day. Junior beginners, your class is coming up in a couple minutes. Make sure you get some water and kind of come back nice and strong. Ready? Bow. You are dismissed.